So let's suppose we have a complex number z equals x plus i y and uh, our problem is how to find the natural log of z. Alright, so to begin with let me sketch my complex number on an argand diagram. This is how my complex number looks like. Alright, so I have the real axis, I have the imaginary axis and this is my complex number z equals x plus i y suppose the modulus of this complex number is r so as you can see all right this uh, uh, all right let's also say the angle between the complex number and the real axis is theta we call that the argument of the complex number so this distance from here to here which is y is going to be r sine theta and this distance here is uh, going to be x which is r cosine of theta so if i write this complex number again x plus i y i could also write it as r cos of theta plus i sine of theta so we call this the cartesian form of the complex number and we call this the polar form of the complex number so this is the polar form of writing the complex number now there's just one more thing we can do with this we can also write the complex number in uh, exponential form so we can also write the complex number in exponential form and in that case we write it as z equals r exponent or i theta so where I should say this where exponent of i theta is the same as cos theta plus i sine theta this is the so-called Euler's formula so that's according to Euler's formula and if I get this and substitute it back here as you can see I get back to the polar form which can take me back to the Cartesian form so this is perfectly another way of representing the complex number now let's go ahead and use this form here to calculate the logarithm of the complex number so we have now the natural log of z let's see how we're going to work on that that's going to be the same as the natural log of r exponent i theta then I can go ahead using the properties of logarithms. This is the same as natural log of r plus natural log of exponent i theta, which is natural log of r plus i theta. Uh, nah, sorry, i theta natural log of e. But we know that the natural log of e is 1. So I have finally that natural log of z is natural log of r plus i theta so there we go and we call this the principal so we call this the principal logarithm this is the principal logarithm of the complex number because we have used the principal argument theta but uh, let me show you something here so I'll erase this so we've just said that the natural log of the complex number is uh, the log of r plus i theta but uh, if i just showed you how the complex number looks like so this is our complex number z equals x plus i y and this is the principal argument theta but there are more arguments because if i rotate 360 degrees and then come back here that's also another argument and I could keep doing that and that and that so in general the natural log of z so in general in general the natural log of z is the natural log of r plus i into theta plus 2 pi n where n uh, just write this where n 
equals 0, 1, 2, and so on. So every time I make a rotation, I make another argument. Every time I make a rotation, I make another argument. In other words, the argument of z is uh, theta plus 2 pi n, 2 pi n, where n is 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So I write this general argument here, and that gives me the general formula for calculating the logarithm of a complex number. As you can see, uh, when n is 0, then I have the principal logarithm. Alright, thanks for watching this, uh, and uh, I hope you like it. So please subscribe to the channel. Also leave a comment below on what videos I should do next, and uh, I'll see you in my next one.